All right, so now let's go and have a summary of the three products where we're gonna compare them side by side. The main purpose of Tableau Desktop and Public is to generate data visualizations, but the main task of Tableau Prep is for data engineering. Now, if you are talking about the costs, both Desktop and Prep requires licenses, but Tableau Public is free to use. And now about the security aspect of the data, Tableau Desktop and Prep are secure since you can publish them to private servers. But Tableau Public, you have to publish your work to public platforms where everyone can see your data. So you cannot secure your data in Tableau Public. And the next point, data limits. Since public is free, it comes with the limitations of 15 million rows. But Desktop and Prep, you will get no limitations. The next point is connectors. In both desktop and prep, you have over 90 different data connectors like files, API, servers, cloud, and so on, where in Tableau Public, you can connect only to files. And if we talk about the live connections aspect, the only tool offers a live connections to your data sources is Tableau Desktop. You cannot make live connections in Tableau Public and in Tableau Prep. You have always to work with extracted data. The next point is about storing your files locally. Both Tableau Desktop and Prep allows you to do that by storing your work locally at your PC. But in Tableau Public, you cannot do that. Instead, you have always to publish your work to Tableau Public Cloud. The last aspect is about the target audience. Tableau Desktop is made for data scientists and data analysts, but Tableau Public is made for anybody who wants to work with data visualizations. And Tableau Prep is made for data engineers. All right, so now with this, we have good overview of the three Tableau products for development. And now comes the question, when to use which product? So now let me guide you in my decision-making process using the following flow chart. First, we ask the question, for which purpose? If we need a product for data engineering, then it's easy. We have only one Tableau product, and that is Tableau Prep. Now, if we need a product for data visualizations, then we can ask more questions. The next question, do we need to connect to server, ABI databases, or to cloud? If the answer is yes, then we have to use Tableau Desktop. And if the answer is no, then we ask the next question, can our data be public? If the the answer is no, our data is confidential, then we have to use Tableau Desktop. But if the answer is yes, our data can be public, then we jump to the next question. Do our data sources contain more than 15 million rows? If yes, then we have to choose Tableau Desktop. But if the answer is no, our data sources have less than 15 million rows, then we jump to the last question. Do we need to have live connections to our data sources? If the answer is yes, then we have again to choose use Tableau Desktop, but if the answer is no, then finally, we can go and use Tableau Public. All right, so if you follow those questions and this chart, you can easily decide when to use which Tableau product. All right, so with that, we have covered all the Tableau products for development. And next, we will start talking about the Tableau products for sharing. So let's first understand the sharing process. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.